It would appear that Wizards is making all the right decisions yet again. And before you auto dislike this video based on the title, um, maybe give it a second. Uh, I think old Jeremy would have turned the outrage knob up to 11 and, and, and uh, turn it up to 11 and rip the knob off. But uh, I, the reason I didn't put out a video right away on Sunday is I'm trying to get a little bit better with my emotions. And I wanted to kind of get the pulse on what the community, how the community really felt about Wizards of the Coast discontinuing FNM promos. And I came to the conclusion that it's not really a big deal. Um, and this is really a couple of things, a couple of the factors that came into play here. So I think emotion, uh, us Magic players, especially about the game we love, is something that always runs high. And when there's a perception of something getting taken away, uh, certainly uh, that, that you can understand why people might be upset about that. Um, however, the fact of the matter is, I think, uh, what do you think about this as a possibility? Do you think possibly a lot of the people that are outraged are perhaps more mad about the perceived loss in value, about the perceived, uh, if only the they would have fixed FNM promos and then took them away, right? People, I, I think, are reacting. I didn't explain that perfectly. I think why people are really fired up is they took FNM promos away uh, without fixing them, right? Like, who gives a you know two ripping toots about a promo noose constrictor? Um, I think we're reacting as if they had taken away you know our promo path to exiles and things like that. When in reality, I believe that Wizards of the Coast has slowly been killing this program on purpose over the past six months to one year. This is based on how Wizards of the Coast, now a lot of you are newer players, but Wizards of the Coast doesn't normally come out and, and terminate something. It takes a lot for them to do so. But what they do like to do is let things die, um, let them die on the vine and waste away by not providing support. I think that's what they're trying to do uh, here. Mm. Mediocre. Now, I think we can all agree that anytime you take something away, uh, something of higher, I think FNM promos had a higher perceived value, right? And the tokens that they're replacing them with have a lower perceived value. We don't really know uh, what these tokens will be worth, but what we do know is what we felt. We had an intrinsic relationship, intrinsic value with FNM promos. And I think a lot of us have been waiting six months or even a year for Wizards of the Coast to fix FNM promos, and they never have. And I think I know why. So when we talk about fixing FNM promos, we talk about giving us some valuable cards, give us some cards that are modern staples, give us some cards that are standard staples. Um, when you hear people talk about great FNM promos, it's always, a, a lot of the times, it's, uh, it's like modern staples, Path to Exile, Vapor Snag, I think was one. Things that like will always have value, things that go into people's cubes or commander decks and just live there forever. Um, and I think some standard staples would be more difficult because of rotation, obviously, and then they would still lose their value eventually unless they had eternal value or, for example, you know, they saw play in, in EDH or, or cubes or something like that. Um, it's interesting, uh, the wave of emotions. And I think uh, Brian from Tolarian or the professor from Tolarian Community College did a great job encapsulating the emotional attachment that people have to FNM promos. And I also think he did a great job kind of proving that Wizards didn't really have a good explanation for why they were doing it. I originally had started scripting a video talking about 
you know, kind of picking apart their response, but the guy does it better than anyone else in the magic community. So I think if, if there, for some reason you're watching my video and you haven't seen his, that's something worth watching because I think he pretty eloquently proves that wizards, uh, one of two things is true. Either they can't tell us the truth or they don't know the answer. And I believe firmly that they cannot tell us the truth. Um, I think when you talk to local game stores, and I've talked to local game stores, and when you talk to people that go to local game stores, which is what the FNM promo program is all about, most people are either indifferent or they or they view it as a positive thing. Um, now, there are exceptions where you have hyper-competitive stores and hyper-competitive players. And those players have been bitching about promos for years because who wants a promo news constrictor? Nobody. Um, so they're already unhappy, right? So now they're doubly unhappy because now we're getting tokens that no one really cares about, hypothetically. If they're going to tie it to standard, nobody cares about them. At least not for any like perceived amount of time. Long amount of time. So you have the hyper competitive player who I think in their mind feels like, damn, all Wizards has to do had to do is give us some twenty dollar promos or fifteen dollar F and M promos, and uh, I would have been happy. And now they're just taking it away altogether. So I'm unhappy doubly. Most casual players they're not winning FNM anyway. And if they are, they don't really care about the, they don't play modern probably, um, or they don't really care that much about the promo. Uh, and then when you look at it from the local game store's perspective, and I think I started to say this earlier, I talked to several of them and they confirmed a suspicion that I had anyway. And I, I don't think it's that, um, it's not that controversial to, um, to say is that, and, you know, I want to preface this by saying, look, hardcore competitive Magic players have their place in the community. Um, they, I mean, it's just as important in it as anybody else's, okay? But, <clears throat> and I'm sure there'll be a bunch of people in the comments, well, I do, uh, I'm an exception. Great, there are exceptions. But when you talk to local game stores like I have, hyper-competitive players, the type of players that show up for Path to Exile FNM promos, they don't spend a lot of money in the stores. They pay for their events, and then they use the promo code whatever in the in the description below to buy from some online mega warehouse because they have to because they play standard and the, you have to pay the least amount of money for those cards because they last the least amount of time. And so, if I were a competitive grinder, I wouldn't be buying sealed product either. I wouldn't be buying you know planeswalker decks or arch enemy or booster boxes or fat packs or intro decks i wouldn't be buying that stuff either and so i don't blame them for maximizing their money but when you choose an oath of poverty and run a local game store you don't survive on grinders you survive on casuals you survive on the type of players that come in and buy Planeswalker Anthology and buy intro decks and buy a soda and buy a candy bar every single Friday night. You survive on those people willing to pay $100 to $120 for a booster box to pay your rent. You don't survive getting $2 entry free fees or $3 entry fees to FNM. This is just the stone cold reality of running a local game store. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying you can't, you know, facts don't have feelings. And yes, while some very competitive players also buy stuff, they're highly unlikely to buy Planeswalker decks. But that's where the margin is, singles and Planeswalker decks. Now, if you're a big mega store and, you're, and you have booths at GPs and you can move a lot of weight, yeah, you can make your money if you're buying a lot of cards. But most local game stores don't have that kind of reach. They're buying the occasional collection and then they're buying from the people that come in their store who are trading up or buying different cards, okay? I get it. I, I am, I'm not saying that I can't really tell you how I feel about it because I don't have a strong opinion because I'm not a hyper competitive player. And if I would play though, I would only care about a high value promo. I would be that way. And so that's why I can't fall for pe fall people for being mad. 
But here, here's the reality of the high value promo. It's never going to come back. When you talk to local game stores, they all agree. I'm looking at someone responding to me right now who owns a local game store. Same thing. People that care about $20 FNM promos are, you know, they, he, he said, I don't want to disclose his name in case some of you people go there, but he runs a large store. He said, yes, my FNM attendance goes up when the promo is good, but those grinders run off my locals. And there was a thread uh, somewhere I read, and also, like, it makes a lot of sense. It's like when you buy a bar. You ever watch that bar rescue show? A lot of times when they come in to look at these bars, they look at the locals, as, uh, the regulars, as uh, scaring off the new customers. And hyper-competitive players can have that effect on people. It's not their fault for being good at magic. It's not their fault for wanting to be good. I'm just talking about if you run a local game store, you need butts and seats. And you don't need, unfortunately, high val high com highly competitive players coming in and just scooping up all the prizes. This local game store told me, and I've played there before, that two particular competitive players that I know ruined one of his draft nights. People stopped coming because these... Two guys just kept winning all the time. Is that their fault? Of course not. Well, a ton of you in the comments still say, it's not their fault. Yeah, because a lot of times when I do these type of videos, people just hear what they want to hear. I don't know that moving away from FNM promos to tokens is any better. Nobody can know that. But what I do know is Wizards has shown zero interest in making the FNM promos better. Right, we can agree on that. They've been terrible for a year or two. So, if we both agree on that, can we then agree that these tokens have at least the same value as the FNM promo? And it's for that reason that I think moving from these FNM weekly promos to the token packs just really isn't that big of a deal. Um, I can't really say, like I said, strongly how I feel about it, but ultimately in the end game. I don't think it's a big deal. Now, there's a lot of outrage going on right now in the Magic community. Like there always is anytime anything changes. But, and, and maybe Wizards will answer that. Like when you have the two Golden Boys shooting videos decrying something, uh, Wizards will pay attention to that. And it's also a ton easier to make the video where you're like, rawr, I'm also mad about this stuff that the general majority of people are mad about. But I wanted to kind of think about it. Like, I think, you know, Joe or jo Jane Magic Player doesn't give a crap about FNM promos. They care that they buy a pack of Magic cards and this starts happening to them within a month. They care about the standard meta being Garbo. They care about having their prized possession ulamog was worth twenty dollars getting banned these are the things most magic players care about they don't care about fnm promos so while you might be upset about it and i I've, i hope i've demonstrated that i can understand why you're upset about it i hope that you've made it to the end of this video and you can see things where i'm coming from where like you know maybe this is a net positive um for the magic community. I don't like the idea of ushering people out of FNM and, and trying to cram them in on a Saturday. I, I, I think people work their lives around being free on Friday nights. A lot of magic players do. But what I'm thinking and what the local game stores talked about with me is that they believe that this will be fine. That the same people will keep coming to FNM on Friday and the same and, and 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 the same people will be coming on Saturday. Nobody knows if this is gonna be good or bad, but ultimately they're not scared, so I guess I can't be scared. I understand why some people would be upset, but I think it's gonna be no big deal. After all, that's just my opinion though. I'm really curious to hear what you think in the comment section down below.